the visitors that want to reside. There are those that come from time to time wanting to pay me a visit. I had to discern just who they were and be strong enough to resist it. I'm talking about those visitors whose every intention is on residing in my life to make a mess of God's plan for me abiding. Abiding in His truth and His love and be reminded that this is not a race but instead it's a journey and his calling for his divine will you cannot erase. I'm not speaking of any woman or man for they are mere mortals that you can see. I'm talking about those spiritual visitors that want you to believe this is just me. They do this because it's easier to hide behind a mask that you can see. While looking in a mirror, all you see is me. For if they reared their ugly heads as anxiety, depression, hatred, and fear, we would know immediately away from this we need to steer. All of us need to be mindful of what kind of company we keep because some people have visitors of their own who into your life they try to see. Practice discernment, for this is not a gift only given to some. It is a commandment and a useful tool, unless you'd rather just be dumb. Be aware that the devil is not dumb, for in a child of God, he seeks to abide. He knows just which ones to send your way, those visitors that aim to reside. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19 says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness.